Welcome back to another El Yucateco recipe video, everyone. My name is Mike, and today we're gonna be doing some skirt steak pinwheels, and we're gonna caramelize these out on the flat top cooker. You are gonna love this one, and it's coming up right now. Once again, welcome back, everyone. We really appreciate your support, and if you're not following us here yet, consider doing so by hitting that button down there. Now this recipe is gonna be a little different from traditional pinwheels. We're gonna be doing these out on a flat top to get some beautiful and delicious caramelization on the outside. To get started for this, choose a nice piece of skirt steak from the store. Go ahead and trim it well to make sure you get most of the hard fats and all of the silver skin off the outside. It's gonna ensure a delicious, tender bite. Now once you have that steak trimmed, go ahead and place it in a marinade container with a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna kick this flavor out of the park with some El Yucateco Red. Coat that steak on both sides well, cover it up, and place it in the fridge for anywhere from two hours up to an entire day in advance. Once you're ready to cook, remove it from the container. Then to prepare it for the cook, we're gonna layer this with prosciutto, provolone cheese, some beautiful delicious pesto sauce, and a little bit of spinach. Now roll that up firmly and use some butcher's twine to tie that off. You don't want this to be too loose or too tight, something right in the middle just to keep it together throughout the cook. We're gonna do this on a flat top cooker today on low to medium heat. So once your griddle is preheated, go ahead and place your pinwheels down to get a good sear. You'll wanna cook these for a few minutes on each side or until you reach your desired temperature. Be very careful when flipping these. And you can see the beautiful sear and caramelization on the outside from that flat top. Now once these reach your desired temperature of doneness, Go ahead and remove them and allow them to rest for just a few minutes. Now just take a look at how beautiful and juicy these are. And once again, it is time for my favorite part of the video. Extremely juicy and lots of layers of flavor here. All right, cheers everyone. That sear on the outside and the caramelization of the El Yucateco sauce along with that cheese, this is unlike any other pinwheel you've ever made. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video. Give this one a try at home. Don't forget till next time to kick up all your recipes with the king of flavor. And I'll see you on the next video.